Welcome back to Mega Man 11. Hey, it's Epic Voice Guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same voice actor. Was he dabbing? No, he was no. posing. But yeah, Torchman is voiced by Epic Voice Guy. Oh, I like that. I like that 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 little Metuol sign. That's yes. Cool. You you would think the you would think the bubble bass would be in this station. <laughs> no. All right. I have to ask. I get the enemies in the tents being a hazard, but why are the tents themselves? Yeah. Fucking <laughs> uh, Wouldn't you make robot what? tents if you were able to, John? But why do the robot tents hurt? Why do the tents hurt? Because you asked about tents. that. But remember that in Final Fantasy VII, there were monsters disguised as houses. <laughs> yeah, but you see, that makes sense. There's a that because the robot is the house. This is just a plank of wood. It's made of wood. <laughs> it's made of robotic wood, John. All right, jeez. Oh, Stop. We must show God. them our peaceful ways. Science Five. too far. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds yeah, me. Yeah, here, here is the worst stage in the game. That, that 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 reminds me of the time in Doctor Who when the Cybermen made a wooden Cyberman. To, uh, to attack the doctor on Trenzalore because the sonic screwdriver doesn't do wood. Uh, <laughs> so As a they made a wooden that Cyberman is to wild. try and get at him. <laughs> he, he still managed to take it down, but <laughs> it was like, okay. I've watched maybe like four episodes of Doctor Who and that sentence you said was wild. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to shoot the birds on this stage. Uh, oh, because no. they drop fire and setting fires are bad. Well, no, that turns out the light. Oh, okay. Yeah, it goes pitch black. Oh. Well, that's not fun. No, I have no idea at what point my computer picked it up, but I've got Roboenza right now. Uh, <laughs> by that I mean I have a Trojan that keeps reappearing after Malware Bytes gets rid of it. And I... I, I, I why? It, is it Virus Man? Uh, more like Trojan Man, which sounds like the robot master of... Uh, of exploding condoms, but... Um, <laughs> oh, I man. love the backgrounds in this game. I just love that the yeah. Metools are all camping out together. The Metools are, are, are rehearsing Wicker Man. Hey, <laughs> fiery bird robot, you want some chocolate? Can you make robotic mm. s'mores? He, he didn't want chocolate. Okay. Yeah, do robots celebrate Thanksgiving? Do they hunt robot birds? Well, they're Japanese, green, so they wouldn't celebrate Thanksgiving. Maybe the American ones do. So yeah, that screen we were just in now is the last checkpoint before the boss. So you have two instant death wall sections. On hard, on hard mode. And this so, is normal. Well, no, so, well, normal mode. Well, so if they're Japanese, do the girl robots give the boy, boy robots chocolate on Christmas? Valentine's Day. I thought that the Valentine's boys gave Day, them thought... something on Valentine's Day. And on oh no, no, no! Christmas, Christmas was like. Christmas yeah, is a yeah. couple's holiday in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you you, ha you 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 go you 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 spend time with your significant other and you have cake, I think. Yeah. Uh, Valentine's Day is the day where the girls give boys chocolates and then the boys return right. favor on I got, white I got my I got my persona holidays mixed up there. Uh, <laughs> persona <laughs> holidays. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, I I thank you for ridding the world of sin, but I only now know your birthday. As a persona holiday. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my lord, but I never saw it coming. <laughs> what Wait, I how do you... I literally put a gigantic star that said the Savior's born, <laughs> bra. All right, I had little I, angels singing about it. What the heck? <laughs> that is a lantern owl. I like that. Yeah. That is cool. Why Why aren't the bats in this level? They would look perfect with uh, in the... <laughs> Capcom. Man, I what can't wait for them to patch this crucial mistake. Okay, so Ryan, to go back to that charge shot thing you were talking about before, that robot there looked like it was going like backwards to your to your pellet shots, like it was bumping them back. Yeah. That's something where I would think, okay, so then why don't I try a, a except charge shot? There, except they show, except you knock him back in. There's clearly a pit. Yeah, but I can. And, also he, and, he, and he gets. Yeah, but I no, your charge your charge shot doesn't do anything else to him. Yeah, the only way you can kill him normally is if he hit him when his top is open. Oh, okay, never yeah. mind then. Whatever. <laughs> no, the charge shot just bounces right off of him. And like with his chase, does it push him back great farther? For shooting him when he opens. Do Sorry, what? Ted? Does the charge shot push him back farther yeah. at the very least? Ac actually, no. It Are you coil. Sure? <laughs> I did. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a brutal auto screen. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, and you go back. And you go back a good two minutes if you don't do it correctly. Oh, I was just talking about Tundra. how. Tundra. Oh. I, I was just talking about how painful def defeat looks like here. I want to save the fire. weapon. I want to save the 
weapon energy for the actual boss, John. Don't you only have weapon to shoot time. it once in order to make it go away? Nope. Nope, it comes back. Well, no, no, no. You, you shoot it once to make it you know, stop. Yeah, it, it'll resume after a while, but you, get, you, get, you have so much time. And also, screw you. You used an amiibo. You got a weapon tank, cheater. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we can't forget the shop exists, so you can literally you buy a whole bunch tanks. of E-tanks and weapon <laughs> tanks and a whole bunch of stuff to make the game even more easy for those who have trouble with the game. There's lots of things to help your adventure. Uh, how you know, much how much does the game kind of starve you for bolts? How much would you need to grind in order to get bolts? Yeah. Okay, so the bolts. game is full of all these really cool blazing fire effects, like the fire effect enveloping Torchman now. But when he's in his normal form, the fire on his shoulders looks like it's made of paper mache. It's probably um, because it's part of his model and not whatever separate fire effect they've got for all this other yeah. stuff. It's really noticeable yeah. during the end credits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, the fire in this game does look really Wait, good, which is he's weird. He's throwing his fist at you. Yeah. He's a pop station character. <laughs> also, going back to uh, Ted's question, um, the bolts drop pretty good. There's usually a lot of orange bolts that give you 100, and you don't need more than 100 to get, like, an E tank or a W tank. Um,. I ironically, in superhero mode, which is the hardest difficulty, the only thing enemies drop are bolts. They don't drop health, they don't drop weapon energy, and the shop still has the same prices, and you can still buy, like, nine E-Tanks in superhero mode. So, you get you get a lot of cash in superhero mode, and then you can just, like, E-Tank the whole game, and just... Superhero mode's not even that hard. You see, I actually really like that idea for a super hard mode, in that, okay, you can't rely on handouts during the level, but you can more easily plan out the stuff you want to buy from the shop. Like, do I want to buy a lot of E-Tanks to survive better, or do I want the more permanent upgrades, like the weapon energy thing of Moose that I forget the name of? That makes it so that, that it automatically goes to the to the lowest one. It has a name, at, at, but... At the, the risk of there. pissing off our commenters again, that sounds like Devil May Cry. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> also, we are now in Blast Man Stage, a.k.a. the Robot XP of Gang Explosion Murder. I love the movie designs uh, setting. Yeah, because his, his function in-universe is a theme park attraction host. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, is he supposed to be Michael Bay? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Michael Bay approves. <laughs> and again, you can use Torchman's weapon to pre uh, preemptively destroy the uh, explosives. Yeah, which again Make lets you know that patch. that's which lets you know that again it's the weakness of the boss. Also, just makes the stage easier. Mm -hmm. You're gonna. Uh, it also uh, bypasses that uh, enemy's death animation because if you just kill them with the normal Buster shot as you saw there, their tanks kind of get a mind of their own <laughs> and they go yeah. uh, in a spinning arc. But uh, Torchman completely incinerates it. I love the explosion buses or the explosion trolleys. Does every stage have something like that in it where if you where the the robot weakness makes the stage easier too? Not all of them, but most of them do. Okay, because that's actually you know something that like an idea that they kind of had way, way back in Quick Man's stage in Mega Man 2 that I don't remember them using as much in the other games. Or at least, I don't know, I don't play these games all that much, so I don't... Yeah, I'd have to go, like, level by level in my head to even think of any examples. But, yeah, there's uh, a, there's been a lot... I can't blame you. There's a lot of Mega Man games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Clement, for showing me this trick. Oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, put, you posted this on Twitter, so there you go. Maybe boss done. Because, like, I, I, I should tell my viewers, I got the Platinum Trophy for Mega Man 11. And because, of, of course you did. Uh, of course you Of did. course I did. And uh, one of the <laughs> trophies is beat the game in under an hour. And that's a lot harder this time than it is with Mega Man 9 and 10 for two reasons. Uh, one, time still counts down when you're in the menus and stuff. Like, if you go to the shop or you go to save your game, time's still counting down, whereas in the Inti Creates Mega Man games, it only really counted when you were actually in a level. Um, so I had to keep moving, and I had to, like, really push through the, the weapon uh, the weapon get screens and stuff really quickly. Uh, and the other thing is these levels are a lot longer than Mega Man 9 and 10's levels, so... I had to really plan out what the hell I was going to do in order to beat this in under an hour. I have to ask, does Speed Gear slow the timer down? 
Nah, I don't think I don't it think does. Because so. it doesn't do it for time trials. Like, if you do the time uh, trials, the timer still goes at the same speed. That's why if you see the high, the high scores through the replays, no one's ever using speed gear. There's no point. <laughs> So what did your what did, anyway. what did your playtime end up when you were when you finally got one under an hour? Was it like just barely there or fifty seven. Fifty seven minutes. That's not, you know, like nearly heart attack close, but that's pretty tight. Margin of error is pretty tight. Yeah, the, the the other problem with doing that achievement is that there's no on screen timer. No. It, it's not like um what game was it that had like a speed run mode where you could literally have a timer right next to it? Uh I think nine or ten. I, I, I don't even mean specifically Mega Man. I feel like it was a Shantae game or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't, a lot of I don't games recall have that, the, uh, for sure. But yeah, the game has no timer for that, so you could like just be barely get over an hour and still be playing. Yeah, I would recommend just like after every level, save, then do a run where you're just flawless and you go fast. <laughs> yeah. Could save you immediately. Save, can you save Scum like, like an if actual... you die or if you take too long? Yeah, it, it, it's just in game time. Okay. Oops. I actually might want to consider just getting a timer. You know, do what yeah. like speedrunners do. Well, I mean, you everybody's phone has <laughs> has a oh, timer. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, and the trophies on normal mode. So again, the checkpoints. If you, you die, you, you just you just exploded and then respawned under a screen that said "Feel the explosion." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm not sure if he says it, but the anime references continue despite being looking like King Explosion Murder. He uh, has a line straight out of Daydara from Naruto, so he's also anime guy. <laughs> I didn't know that. Wait, which line? Feel the explosion? Expl explosion is art. Explosion is art? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so he's more of the cultural explosion man rather than grenade man who gets off on explosions. Yeah. Okay, destroying the Ferris wheel is one thing. Nobody actually likes that ride. But the roller coaster, you've gone too far. He, he, Blast Man is also also pretty easy with your busters, you, so you I recommend it. He didn't your last roller, roller coaster, coaster tycoon death trap. That's what I was about to say. He didn't destroy the roller coaster, Ted. It was built that way. Oh, wow. What kind of roller coaster tycoon <laughs> shenanigans has he been up to? <laughs> Damn. The same as everyone else. <laughs> I need to yeah, explosion rock. I, oh, this, this weapon rocks. Well, the powered up version does. <laughs> the power. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, because yeah. I had all right. So after the review, I had again some fifteen people telling me that Cutman was a Mega Man X Eight. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that uh, <laughs> that you could enter and exit Corona Mountain in the water would drain. No, uh, two of those. You can you can set the you can cause the uh the the bombs to prematurely explode if you press uh, down on the weapon. The game does not tell you about that, so that's more do, against the does game. Does Mega game, Man do throw a rose when he makes it happen? No. no. Uh, it, the main grenade power thing also isn't terribly useful because it moves so damn slow. You're better off just using the power gear version of it. Yeah. Can you link together to power enemies. gear ones like you can the smaller ones? Uh, no. Aww. But it's so big it's pretty much guaranteed to hit. So Yeah, it's it, it annihilates everything. Every mini boss you know in the game, use that Blast Man powered up ability, wrecks them. Just destroys everybody. Could it be the villain we've been trying to get the entire time? <laughs> You've defeated the eight robots I sent out for you for the twelfth time. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was making Man Eleven. And and base counts. <laughs> what is it was referenced in nine. What is base doing? Is he just taking a nap or something? He just yeah, he's just hanging out, I guess. I guess yeah, he's just taking a nap. Yeah. Honestly, with the whole like Mega Man is now faster and stronger element, I really wanted to know what base's reaction would have been to that. Well, do you think that this game will get like Proto Man or base DLC at any point? I mean, it's not a month old yet. Maybe we are gonna get DLC. Maybe because nine and ten did. Uh, well, like how... 10 got like the uh, robot, the the Mega Man killer stages in time trial, and we base wasn't available right away, but he came out pretty quick. Yeah, but yeah. I felt like we kind of knew that it was coming a little bit earlier. Is the thing like yeah, because yeah. Proto Man was uh, DLC as well for Mega Man Nine, and I think that was like day of or like within a month or something for that. Yeah, we have I haven't really heard any details of DLC or anything, but. 
Yeah, it's just it's just weird that those characters aren't in the game at all, considering how popular they are to me. Yeah, even Proto Man shows up at least once, like somewhere. I think they kind of wanted to focus it on Mega Man and Doctor Wily, to be honest. Yeah, which is fair. 